everybody I'm back with another color oh this silly thing is gonna drive me crazy I have moved it two or three times now and it just insists upon being in the front row ha ha okay all right so if you guys watched the last video I did the blue and now I'm gonna separate the blue from this in the background you're going to hear my husband outside the power saw who's building me a picket fence for my garden so please try to ignore the the saw all right so this is the green I only have one and green's my favorite color so I was really surprised that I had two purples and two blues and only one green what a disappointment I am for the color green huh all right so here is the green one now the green one is kind of dedicated to uh, hang on a second let me here for one second and pile through my stuff. Alright, when I have projects and like things together, I put them in these. So I got gifted a fabulous book on fairies and creatures that live in the night. And I, the funny thing is, is the book, the two of us wanted parts of the books, but we didn't want the exact same parts. So a cover went to one friend, and I got the guts. And oh boy, what guts they are. They are just fabulous and what you're going to see is what I cut out of here to put into the book and this is a very old book you can tell because the paper is starting to um, yellow and I don't know it just it looks old to me even though they did this stuff on the sides when I ripped it out front when it was ripped out of the covers you can tell that it's an older book it's not you know it wasn't copyrighted in 2017. I mean, it's just a little bit older book. So I have all the parts to that book in here because I don't want to waste anything. So when I saw that, I used some of those images in here. So I'm going to go through that. All right, so the first thing is, this is a paper clip that has a pocket in it. And oh, I forgot to put something in the pocket, but there it is. You can put it sideways and do it this way, or you can do it like this. I chose to do it this way because... I don't know. All right, so here I am again with the um, acetate with just a brown craft paper, and then I doodled some leaves, painted them, put it in here, and sewed it with my little machine, which, by the way, still the tension is wrong. I think it's because I need to change the needle and because I'm chewing through plastic. Here is the double-sided paper clip. I can't remember where I learned this from have it someplace in a book where I learned in my idea book wait hang on a second let's see let me get it down from the shelf this is my idea book that I went through I think last year all right I tried to write down when I got ideas from people what this says magnet nope that's for the envelope when I learned something new from somebody where I thought was a totally cool idea in the beginning I didn't attribute to who I got them from but then I figured out that I need to give credit to these people. This, I saw this idea on 49 Dragonflies. Woo! This one I think came from Corey Dunham. As did this. I don't remember where this came from. I probably should put the name back on the back. I didn't do that. But as I go further into the book, I did give credit to people because I couldn't remember where I got them from. This came from Le Cafe Craft, Patricia at Le Cafe Craft. This came from Gail Agustinelli. Uh, I don't remember where this came from. Son of a gun, that's what I was looking for. All right, well, let's see. This came from Julia Camellia Crafts Designs. This idea. And I put the little taggy deal in there. And this came from Treasure Books. This came from G. Kerr. The, um, if you watched my blue video, you saw that mine got bent, but this is where the idea came from. And I've used it on numerous things because I just love this idea. This came from Shannon Choppin Hayes. This came from Camellia Crafts Design. So I did try to give credit where I got stuff from. I could remember. This came from Hanny Trump. So I took the top part that I cut off of this 
and I put down the bottom and it's a little tuck spot. Ooh, let's see. There we go. There's the back half. You just slide it over it and then you can slide things in underneath it or you can just leave it as something interesting on the corner of the page. Uh, let's see. See, not everything. There's another one from Shannon Choppin Hayes. Roxy Creations was this one. This one is Shannon Choppin Hayes. This one came from Camellia Craft Designs. Camellia Craft Designs. This is a paper bag. There's another one from her. I did try to put them on there, and I have a, only have a few more pages left, and it'll be full. Anyway, I can't find who I got that from. I think it came from G. Kerr. I think that's who this came from. The original idea I saw um, is from um, G. Kerr. Okay, so this is a paper clip, the double-sided hidden paper clip thing. You take it off, and it's you can't see the paper clip. It's a beast to get it together, but boy, once it's done, it's wonderful. All right, I just took my little drawer of in what wrong drawer my little drawer over here of the end goodies you know and then I tangle on them or, or I mean I doodle on them and then I put them in another drawer these are the ones that are naked then the other drawer I have has the finished ones in there mm, let's see so this was a piece of uh, patchwork use up all your scrap stuff and then I just cut different sizes out of it this is a little tiny envelope-y thing for journaling, the little journal envelope. You can, some of them I glued down the top, some of them I didn't. There's this, and you just, it just tucked in the, the belly band, which was a stencil from What If NC. This was leftover off cuts, then I just sewed Rick Racky stuff, Rick Rack, zigzag around it. Here's another one. This is an offcut from a magazine I liked, and it has the greens in it. I say use it. This was just meant to be some kind of a quote in here or something. Oh, I was practicing my lettering. I said, eh, I don't like that side. So guess what? We'll pretend that's not there. <laughs> then here I am. This is one of those acetate things, again, with just a um, die cut that I used what I use on this? It might have come from a jelly print, or I might have used a Posca pen on it to color it green. So that's just in here holding the spot with the belly band with a number on it with an off cut. This is uh, flowers I learned to paint. This is, you know, a crayon rubbing. Another envelope. Another tag I did for a, it never made it into the book I originally wanted to go into. So I went ahead and just put it in here because it was green. There's another one of those little teeny envelopes. This is the, um, this piece of paper here is used so you can tuck it in. This is from a Korean book. And it just tucks in. All I did was just glue the ends on it. Just glue these two ends and then I put a random piece of scrap paper and use my stamp on it. So that's this. Where'd I get it? Oh, from under here. <laughs> All right, so I like this paper, and I love this stamp. I love these alphabet, these the big, huge block red rubber stamps. I love them. So I wanted to use up some scraps in my coffee scrap basket. So again, you can see there's recipes on the back of some of these. Yep, a lot of them. There we go. Like more than half of or half of them have recipe parts on the back. Sewed it in. Use it as a little book, and it's tucked in there. This was um, a very large bookmark, and I never used it. I learned how to sew this at the top from Corey Dahman. It's not Durham, it's Dahman. Oh my goodness. Um, and then, you know, I watched how she does her little snippety things, and I put that in there, and that's tucked in this spot here. I made a little tab out of scrap material at the top. I mean, scrap paper. Here is where the, uh, that book of fairies and creatures of the night came in. I cut them out. This one was on a magazine where I liked the background and I wanted to use it. So I glued the 
piece I was able to salvage out of the magazine, glued it onto the background, and then glued everything else on top of it. This is one of those little bugs or fairies. She's just glued on there. I didn't do anything to alter her at all. Then this is another one of them on a piece of something, a tag. I didn't cover up the back. Then I did a little um, tab here. I explained in the other video. My fingernails are short right now, and so I, I have a hard time grabbing onto stuff for some reason, so I put that little tab on there. I think that's a very clever idea for people who don't want to go through the pocket and try to find it and grab it out. You don't have to because there's that little tab at the top. Excellent idea. This is just a little tablet of paper, like I said, like the other ones. It's just leftover stuff made out of more leftover stuff. Why waste it? And then this does not open. <laughs> I glued it shut. What a goober. Did I really glue it shut? No. Oh, is there something in there? No. Okay, so this is the thing, like the little one. There we go. It's got the belly band over it that I can double use to close this and then put that in there. That's a scrap with just number stamped on it. Then I have this little guy and this was leftover scrapbook paper and I made a little book out of it and I cut one of the little sayings out of that magazine or that book and then these are all off cuts from de coffee dyed deli paper and coffee dyed some kind of it's not computer paper it's some other kind of paper it's very oh um paper the packing paper from Amazon boxes that's what that is and then I just glued the back part of it, it doesn't come out. I didn't need a back on it because there it is. This is a pocket that I just turned sideways. I made this a long time ago. And I think this came from Lollapalooza when she made, um, from Lolly when she made these cute little things on um, paper clips. I love these. I think they're adorable. But I never can get them back where I had them. <laughs> Okay, this is just a, a card like I had in the beginning, and I didn't like I didn't want to use this, so I glued this on the other side. I can use either side of it, but I prefer to use this side because like this is so busy. And this is just a leaf I drew that has a Zyron sticker on the back. Right. Again, this is see this is a two-sided pocket where you do one piece like this you divide it in half and you end up with two so it wraps around onto this side so it's two-sided. Then I had a little gift tag that somebody gave to me a bunch of stuff and I decided I didn't want to waste it. I, it doesn't really, it's, I didn't make it but it has an expandable pocket and I loved it. So I have all these really cute butterfly um, stamps that really are this size. I didn't cut them down and I just took scrap green shades of green paper and stamp the butterflies on them so I could put all my little butterflies which I didn't want to glue in here individually I just put them in this pocket for safekeeping and again this is just leftover paper that's made into a little tiny envelope and there's nothing in there it's just cute let me put it in this way this is leftover paper and a little doodle on the thin scraps, sewed the top, and they're just very skinny little pieces of coffee and tea dyed paper that I didn't want to waste. So it made a very skinny little tablet, little notepad. I don't know if I'll ever write in it, but I just thought it was kind of cute. Put that in there. Then this came from that magazine, the book. This is a, a snippet of miscellaneous things that were glued on a strip and then I sewed all over it. That was not my idea. Then here's paper that came from the same la uh, scrapbook paper and I just took a, a long skinny stamp that had nothing but postage stuff on it and stamped it on there and that was it. These are uh, lost something. Lost World something. Anyway, so they're maps, old historical maps of the old world. And I thought they kind of matched the fact that the fairies and stuff, you know, old world. So I stamped all three of them that I have and decided to put those here in the pocket. This side has, this is um, a lot of it, all of this 
and this, and then the guy on here, the fairy boy. I think he's a fairy. Oh, he's an elf. Is he an elf? His name was Trillium. This one was a fast flyer. He must be like a fairy of some sort. It's a male. And he, his hat is the upside down flower. It's so stinking cute. Anyway, so I glued him on there and then used some um, walnut stain on it. This is something I drew. It was a sticker. Again, this is all from leftover cut ends. I love making these kinds of things. Just scrap uh, packaging. And then it, I took the ends off of a scrapbook paper that was just miscellaneous and cut them into triangles and sewed around them and glued one on top of the other. And this is just the fairy girl on an old, um, this was a book with very thin tissuey paper that I did a jelly print on of my stamps. And then um, I cut that down to a size that would fit in here, took a quote out of the, the book and then put the girl fairy over here. This is just a miscellaneous strip I sewed on that is um, stenciled. Here's the story about tree folk. I cut out various little color things that I thought would relate to this side of the page. This is a, a girl that I had to cut her down and I had to cut down the tree to get her all on here. It was a nice big huge spread but I could only do you know a limited size so I did cut some of this out to cover up what I couldn't get in here and I did cut some of the branches and piece together I pieced a couple things together on here and again this is a miscellaneous strip that was um, stenciled and then sewn and glued on the edge here's more stuff from the book it's pictures of food and it explains um, about fairies eating certain foods and why they ate them and if they harmed humans. This is another picture from this kind of thing here. Then I took another one of those, the fern dies, and then I just stamped the word fern on a scrap piece of brown paper, sewed it, made a pocket for it out of leftover paper that was from this thing here. Then I had a tree strip that I did for another book and didn't use it and I sewed a fancy zigzag on it. This came from that book, and again, I like the background. Oh, these are called sprites, deep forest sprites. And I just cut her out and just put her on top. I didn't do anything to these because they were so cool on their own. Here is the back side to the, um, the envelope. Look like this. That when that gets sewn together, it won't be flopping around, but here is another sprite. He's a very tall fellow. And I just took my pen and went around the edges. I didn't sew. This is mass confusion. <laughs> I tried to tone down the paper behind here by putting a printed piece of paper on it and a potted thing and then a leaf on here. It's just so busy, but you know, it is what it is. Then I made belly bands out of some of those leftover strips I had. I did a, a mushroom and sewed it in the acetate. Then I had one of those, um, I think this is Sizzix, where you can use like a magazine rack. So I did some doodles. This is a doodle that I made and I watercolored it, put it in here. This is, I don't know, this is probably six months old and decide to sew it in the acetate and just put it in here. Again, this is a fern from a die cut, did the same thing. It's a watercolor situation there. And just put them whoa, 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 in here. Now it is a little tricky. Well, stinking little card got full before, <laughs> before I could finish. So anyway, I put these back in here. And be careful when you do this, how thick the stuff is you're gonna insert in this little pocket dilly thing because it can only take so much stress. I did do this on jelly print paper, so it may not be the thickest, most sturdiest paper, but still things that are um, too thick might not work well in here. All right, so this is the end of the book. This was something um, that I found in the back that I wanted to go ahead and use. And this is just coffee dye paper zigzagged and then glued on top of there. 
So this is the green signature. The next video will be the pink signature. Yes, one pink. Two blue, two purples, one pink. Yes, one pink. Okay, that is the next video in the series. I hope you stay long enough to see all of it. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye.